Okay, in this video we're going to carry on creating our multimedia product for a music show and we're going to look at how we can put the navigation together. Now I've already put a few slides on here. We've got a main menu slide, we've got a location slide to tell everybody where it is, we've got artists, people that are going to be playing at the concert, food and drink and facilities. Now we need a way of navigating to those pages. Now I've already put one button on the main menu slide but I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to cut it and use it later. The reason for that is we could put the buttons on each slide and then copy and paste it but when you do that it gets really really messy. Um, you sometimes don't get them aligned properly and the buttons look like they're jumping around when they move from one slide to another. So we're going to use the master slide again to create a menu that's going to be in exactly the same place on each slide. Okay, so, oops, wrong tab. So we need to view, and we're going to go to Slide Master. There we go. Right, now remember what we said in the previous video if we put it on this one, then every single slide will be exactly the same and it'll have our menu on. We don't want that, we're just going to add it to every single type of slide. So, we need to find our normal slide which is this one and I'm going to put that button back in that I did a minute ago. Now when you're doing buttons we've got five pages so it's important that we get them in exactly the right place so that they're lined up. So try and find the middle and then once you've done that you can copy and paste the button and you can move it Oops, wrong one, control Z to undo and you can move it. Now ideally we're looking to fit another button in there so we'll paste another one and then we'll put that there. And you can see the little guidelines help telling us that we're lining that up. That's not too bad at all. Might just be a little bit close so we'll use the arrow keys just to nudge it away slightly. Now once we've done that uh, we can select the two together, copy and paste them so we know they'll be the same size and then we can put those at the other side like that. So we've got five buttons more or less lined up. If we close our master view you'll see that those buttons have now appeared on all the slides apart from the main one at the top because that's a different style of slide. So the next thing is to link them all together so the buttons actually work. So back into the slide master click on the buttons. Now our first page was called location so we're going to right click and we're going to add some text and we're going to call it location. Okay, We're going to do the same for this one, we're going to call it artists and we're going to do the same for this one, uh, I think food and drink was another one. Food and drink, okay um, I can't remember what the other ones were called. Let's go back and have a look. So we've got location, artists, food and drink. What were the other two? Facilities. Oh, and of course the main menu. So let's go back in and let's do that into Slide Master. So facilities and main menu. And we'll add some text. We'll go facilities. And then we'll go main menu. Now, custom would dictate actually that we'd be better off putting location there, oops, without the capital O, and main menu here because people are kind of used to seeing main menu at the start of their navigation. So we'll go with that. Next thing is to hyperlink. So we click on the edge of the shape, don't click on the text, it will turn blue when it's hyperlinked. So we click on the edge of the shape, right click and hyperlink. OK, place in this document and then we choose the slide that we want the main menu button to go to. Obviously the main menu button needs to go to the main menu page. And we do exactly the same thing on the edge of the slide for the artist page. You'll notice that they're in slightly different order. That doesn't matter because people are going to be able to visit the page in any order. Food and drink. Oops, clicked to the text there, wrong button. Uh, hyperlink, and that's the food and drink, so that's going to go to the food and drink page, and then facilities. Hyperlink to the facilities page, and location, hyperlink to the location page. Okay, you may also consider putting a home button somewhere else on the slide, I'll leave that to you. Let's close the master view. 
um, and then let's run the slideshow to test out what we've just done so from the location page you see the hand there that indicates it's hyperlinked that takes us to the main menu we can go to the food and drink page back to the main menu we can go to the location page then onto the facilities page and so on and it just keeps taking us from one page to the other and we you can see when we move from page to page the buttons don't jump around they're in exactly the same page on each slide so that's how to create a simple menu bar using PowerPoint when you're creating your multimedia products.